Hey everybody, welcome back to Next Stop Schoolie. I'm Jules, and today we're gonna be talking about, drum roll, floor plans. I just can't pick a floor plan. It's okay, I'm here to help you. Now, if you're like Tyler and I, we've struggled picking a floor plan. We've looked at numerous ones. We've watched tons of videos. And honestly, I'm the one that's really picky. We've done some research and today we're going to make our own floor plan. I'm sure that most of us can agree that finding a floor plan that meets our knees, <laughs> knees, <laughs> meets our needs. There is no one floor plan for your schoolie that is perfect for everybody. It all has to be very customized to fit you and your family's needs, as well as be creative in order to have enough storage for everything. And after lots of research and videos and looking things up between Tyler and I, we decided our best route would be to draw everything out. So. Let's go get the supplies. So if you're like me, you've already drawn a ton of these with all of the specs and dimensions of everything that you wanna put in your schoolie. And this is the only one that's left because I didn't like any of the other ones. So today we are going to take our graph paper and I'm going to count each square as a half a foot instead of one foot. And then I'm going to tape them together and then we can make pieces that represent the furniture and move them around. So let's go. So my GoPro battery died and fell off the stand I had it on, so we're gonna try again this way. Now that we have the outside of our bus drawn, we have about 29 feet of interior length that we can use for our bus. So I know there's two things I'm gonna have to build around. That is going to be one, where you pump the fuel in at, and that is about, if I use this as the back, and this is the front of the bus, so we'll write front, and back so we don't forget. So back to our fuel. Ours is about seven feet from the back door. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it sticks out about a foot off of the wall. And then we also have to go around the wheel wells. And on our bus, they're about 10 and a half feet from the back. And remember, each one of these squares I have marked as six inches or half a foot. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then a half. We'll mark that on the outside. And they're about four feet long. One, two, three, four. And we just 
go across the other side because they're even. Oops. Use my Mr. Sushi eraser. All right, so now we have the wheel wells are going to be here on each side because those are things that we're going to have to build over top of. You don't want to put, say, the toilet room over top of that if your husband is six feet tall because then he's going to bonk his head every time he goes to walk in. So we'll cut out separate shapes for all of our furniture, like our bed, our a washer dryer combo, refrigerator, sink, couch, and maybe a wood stove. So I went ahead and already made all of my furniture pieces that I'm gonna need. We have my two bunk bed sizes, the queen bed. I made a water heater, sink countertops, shower. We want a washer and dryer. We also want a cute little wood stove. We have the toilet room, refrigerator, and oven stove combination. And I colored them in with marker to make them a little darker and easier to see. So now that you have all of your pieces cut out and made in the dimensions, you can set them up however you would like to. And kind of just play around with it until you find a floor plan that you like. Me personally, I know we want our queen bed in the back. And I want to put the bunks over top of the wheel wells because they're easier to cover that way. And for us, I would like to also keep all the water on one side. Just because it would make plumbing easier for us. You can do whatever you'd like. That's just our preference. It is also okay to leave spaces between them because remember you have to build walls in between things as well. I did not make a couple pieces of furniture because I am custom building our couch and we are probably going to put the water tanks underneath the couch or underneath the bed. We are also going to do solar so that might also go under the couch. So just feel free to play around with it until you find something that you like or with something that works for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or found things that work better for you, feel free to drop a comment below. And stay tuned for my next video on things to consider if you're brand new to the schoolie building world. Thanks, bye.